What's going on good people? Clay Dawson here with Before and After Detail. We're located in Raleigh, North Carolina and today we have an Audi in the shop and today what we're going to do is something special. We are going to change this existing grill out to an updated grill and this is the grill kind of like a honeycomb style grill that the uh, client bought and wants us to install. So uh, your custom ideas that you may have for your car, if we can accommodate, we definitely will. Uh, bring your ideas to us and uh, we can see if we can make it happen for you. So this video is going to show you how we're going to swap this grill out of this Audi and put the new grill in. We will show you step by step how to remove this grill from the bumper. Alright, stay tuned. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe to our channel. All right, good people. So first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, release latch for the hood. Of course, you know, pop your hood. But if you can see, there's a little um, tab in the back. And, uh, you kind of push that in. You can pull this up. There's a little tab I was talking about, a little release. So now that you got that released, this cover, you can remove this cover now. So I'll zoom out so you can see what that cover is. And you know this piece was right there. So now we can pull that up. All right, next we're gonna remove these three T25 Torx screws out of the fender liner. So we are on the passenger side fender. Got one, two, three. So I'm gonna back out so you can see where I'm at. Passenger side inside the fender liner. Don't forget to put your little screws in a baggie so you can keep up with them. If you got to label them, you can label them. I'm actually going to take this T25 and this T25 is two more, so it's going to be a total of five. All right, next we got to remove this clip. It's a little clip that goes up in there. So I got it out, but I'm going to tell you, it is a booger to get out. I had to use some needle nose to get under it and just kind of work it and work it and work until I could pull it down. So next, there is, let me see if I can get the light back there. Let's see, you see that screw back there? It's a 30, a Torx 30. We have to remove that screw back there. That's next. So this is the, T30 torque screw and it came from down there back there you see that hole back there that's where it came from inside the fender liner all right so we got the um, screws from the fender liner and the inside of the bumper removed so we are up under the bumper now and it's going to be a T See right there. That's a T25, and this is a T30. So you got two of these, one on each side, and then in between you got eight of the T30 screws that need to be removed. Removed. We can, and we got the inner side. We can peel this back a little bit. Start to bring the bumper out. Okay, so we're able to pull the bumper back, and you have to remove that connection right there so we're going to take that loose real quick okay so on the top side of the bumper 
with a on the top side of the grill. Got to take out these with T30 torque screws, and it's four of them. Got one, two, three, and four. You have to disconnect that connection right there. <clears throat> it's right by the hood latch and it's going to be under the cover. So you need to disconnect that. Alright, so easiest way to do this, you just kind of pry it out of this little holder, these little arms here. And then on the uh, bottom side, you got your latch right there. You should be able to pull it apart. I'm trying to do it one handed, but. So, like that. And then, you should be able to pull the bumper off. <clears throat> so, I got a paint stand down here to kind of hold it up. So I got a couple more connections that we're going to have to loosen. So right inside here this is for the, um, the sensors. So this connection, it got like um, two little things on each side to pull it down from that sensor right there. So just remember that. All right, so we got the grill out. Um, so I had, what's that? Two, four, six, seven, seven T25 Torx screws. And they kind of lined the inside of it, the grill. So it's like one there, one there, one there, here, 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 and here. We got to transfer the camera to the new grill. All right, camera removal. Got four T25 Torx. All right, so this is the old camera mount. And uh, here the... Um, new accessories to fit your camera up. We're about to put it together and uh, the accessories for your sensors and for your four rings um, and your license plate. So this uh, kit and the grill came from, uh, let's see, the name of the company is here. Uh, Basin R Motorsports. They're located out in San Jose, California. All right, so this little crown piece it's going to go right there. Snap that in place. It's going to be for the camera. So this is the other <coughs> camera housing piece. It's going to go here. This piece that they sand. Like such, and then we got our existing camera. It's gonna drop in like such, and you're gonna use your old piece. Um, it's gonna cover right back up right there, and it's gonna line up. It's gonna look like that right there, right there. Okay, about to screw it down get it in place. Alright, so we just used the existing screws from the old grill and got it ready looking good. That's the front camera in your new grill. Basin R Motorsports. This is where this grill came from. I have it down in the, uh, I have a link down in the description. So we're going to install the sensor clips that they sent with the um, kit. 
they go here. Now I do notice that it seems like these sensors are going to sit a little lower than on the old grill. They kind of seem like they were more like in the center where the license plate bracket was. And these right here, the license plate bracket on this one is still going to go here in the, like in the middle of the grill. But um, yeah, they sit a little bit lower. They're going to be down here now. So we'll see. Hopefully there's enough cord on here. I think it is, um, you know, to make it possible. So these, pretty straightforward. You know, they got little... Um, those slits. You just kind of slide it right in, really. Line it up. Pop it in place. Okay? So we got them popped in place. Right and left side. So and this is what it look like on the front side. So your sense is going to go. Alright. Nice. So for the four ring housing, uh, we got the housing, well, it's, it's laying up in the front, but we got it lined up. And then these are the brackets that line up with the, um, the uh, I can't think of the name of the word, or you know, with those, the poles. You know what I mean. Yeah, so we're going to line those up, put the screws in it, show you what it looks like. All right, so we got a screw down, and this would look like from the front side. There you go. Perfect placement. It's a very good kit. I like it. Get the honeycomb grill look for your Audi. Not bad. All right, so we also have the screws installed in the housing for the front license plate. So that's what it's gonna look like. All right, it's coming together. Yep. So now we're gonna take the four rings off, take the quattro sign off, put it back in place, and then we're gonna start reinstalling. All right. Got the grill installed. Looking pretty sharp. That's going to look nice. Everything, um, so you know the sensors did okay. More like that. <clears throat> so they did good back there. You know, there's enough cord on them. This is a very good kit, I will say. Um, everything lined up perfectly with this kit. With this grill, grill assembly. No issues with it. So, I give it a thumbs up. So if you want to change your Audi grill, this is a 2019. I'm sure they have other versions. Um, but this is the one that my client bought. And again, the name of that company is Basin R Motorsports out in California. So give them a shout. And if you get a grill and you want me to put it in, give me a shout. All right, good people. So the honeycomb grill is installed on this 2019 Audi A4 Quattro. So it was a very straightforward install. Um, you know, I like the uh, grill kit that they sent. You know, it's pretty nice. You know, it had the... Um, different housing and attachments for your sensors. Your sensors sit down a little bit lower than on your traditional grill, but I mean, it's okay. The camera and everything's still centered. Center housing for the four rings, for your plate. Um, nice kit. You know, I'd highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Yep, everything attached. Very easy to install. And Man, look nice. Totally, totally changes the look. Gives it a little bit more of a dominant stance now. So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I like the honeycomb grill. Plus, it matches the uh, 
the uh, wind ducts down at the bottom, which those are factory. I don't see why they just didn't put this grill in this car anyway, you know, but that's just my opinion. They should have they should have started out with this grill. Look much better than a traditional grill. All right, tell me what y'all think about it. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We're going to try to keep good content coming to you from different installs that we do, different products that we use, different detailing techniques. We're going to keep it coming. So again, we are before and after detail here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, we have an array of services. We have a mobile service. Um, we do custom grill installs. Uh, we do paint protection spray, color change wraps, paint protection film, ceramic coatings, OptiCoat ceramic coatings. Uh, we also have a SiO2 uh, version ceramic coating that we use as well. Uh, we do paint correction, which we specialize in, smoke remediation. So we do quite a few services. So stay tuned. We'll keep the videos coming. And yeah, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All right, until the next one, y'all. Have a good one.